Уважаемый господин председатель, уважаемые коллеги. Chair, colleagues, first and foremost, I would like to thank Prime Minister of the Republic of Singapore, Mr. Lee sang -Lun, for the initiative of holding yet another summit of Russia ASEAN. Russia attaches a great importance to developing our relations with ASEAN based on the principles of mutual respect and due regard for the interests of one another. At the Sochi summit, which just has been mentioned by Prime Minister in May 2016, we adopted a declaration as well as a plan of action which set the goal of elevating the cooperation between Russia and ASEAN to the level of a strategic partnership. Over the last two years, together, we have managed to do a lot. We've boosted our political dialogue. Since last year, we have a mission of Russia to ASEAN in Jakarta. We coordinate our approaches to the key issues in the Asia-Pacific, to the challenges and threats to regional stability. We are reinforcing our cooperation in fighting terrorism, drug trafficking, and organized crime. Annual meetings are held by our foreign ministers. The head of the Russian Defense Ministry is participating in the ADDM meeting whereas our interior minister participates in the conferences of the Association of National Police Services of ASEAN. We fostered contacts between the Russian parliamentaries with the Anti-Parliamentary Assembly of ASEAN. We see a steady development of our economic ties. In 2017, the trade between Russia and ASEAN increased by 35 percent, whereas the mutual accumulated investment is over 25 billion U.S. dollars. We are successfully implementing the joint roadmap for business cooperation, which comprises around 60 joint projects in industry and high tech. We've adopted and are implementing programs of cooperation in energy and agriculture. We have in place ASEAN Russia Business Council and the Russian delegation would find it useful to c continue to participate in the Business Investment Forum of ASEAN, which yesterday concluded in Singapore. In their turn, entrepreneurs from ASEAN countries are always widely represented in St. Petersburg and Vladivostok at the St. Petersburg Forum and Eastern Economic Forum. I'd like to avail myself of the opportunity to invest official delegates and business delegates of ASEAN to come to Russia to these forums in 2019. We believe it is important to foster a regular dialogue between ASEAN and the Eurasian Economic Union. An important step in that direction is the signing of a memorandum of understanding between ASEAN and the Eurasian Economic Commission. We are grateful to our ASEAN partners for supporting Russia's initiative of adopting a joint declaration on information security, which seeks to raise the efficiency of our fight against cybercrime and also to come up with unified approaches to the conduct of countries in the global information space. Russia is going to join ASEAN's plans of establishing a network of smart cities in our country leading and implementing digital technologies and the urban environment is our capital, Moscow, which is already cooperating actively with Singapore on a bilateral basis. We do hope that the geographic span of such interaction is going to expand on both sides. Certainly, in high demand uh, is a close coordination of issues uh, related to responding to disasters, both man-made and natural ones, working on an MOU and preventing and eliminating the consequences of emergency situation has already been completed. We do hope that very soon we will be able to sign this MOU. We are willing to provide further assistance to ASEAN countries and the fight against the spread of infectious diseases. We suggest that you avail yourselves of the opportunities of uh, additional training programs for medical specialists on the basis of the Biological Safety Center inaugurated this year in Vladivostok, where you could contemplate the possibility of holding joint exercises and responding to dangerous infectious diseases. And certainly, we have to continue the steady development of humanitarian ties between Russia and ASEAN. Two weeks ago in Myanmar, we had the first meeting of the working group on education. We have a plan of action in science, technology, and innovation until 2025. Since April, we have uh, a functioning network of research centers of the leading 
universities of Russia and ASEAN, it would be useful to have a regular exchange of education and university forums. Such events were held successfully in 2016 and 2017 in Russia. We could reinforce ties between our young people by holding youth summits Russia ASEAN. The next is scheduled to be held in 2019 in the Philippines. Colleagues, I have named but the most important aspects of ASEAN Russia interaction, the key agreements and documents drafted for the summit. I'm confident that in order to expand our cooperation, we have huge horizons, and I'm looking forward to an open and interested exchange of opinions. Thank you for your attention.